attacks. Before we start access attacks, please subscribe our channel for interesting and more tutorials. Thank you so much. Access attacks involve the techniques of accessing network and user devices as well as accounts in order to take control of them. These attacks often occur as a result of weak password misconfiguration of security features by administrator in devices that do not require proper authentication. Man in the middle attack, port scanning and bypassing firewalls configuration are all common exploits of access attacks. Access attacks can be external in nature, targeting network connected to the public internet net or they can be internal net attacks intended to cause harm to an organization as is the case with the logic bomb attack. This attack ex execute a certain payload at a predefined time or when some other condition is met that initiate a malicious function. Remote access system are also a major target for access attack. In some cases Hacker bypass the firewall configuration, eavesdrop into the network, enable backdoor access, and modify access setting to, to take full control of the network. In other words, this activity leads to hidden malware sitting in the network for some time, capturing all traffic that travel traverses the network and then uploading it to the external entities. Now, man in the middle attacks take place when a hacker intercepts packets by eavesdropping on the internet. This attack allows for an attacker to assume the identity, identity of a legitimate endpoint in order to take control of a session and possibly through that gain privilege access to a network resource. In a point to point connection between two devices, Men in the middle attacks fool the sender into believing that they are communicating with intended recipients. IP address spoofing is also used in access attacks. In this case, the attacker pretends to be an IP address of an internal user in order to gain access to user accounts. Hacker use several techniques and widely available program to craft IP packets, which appear as if they have been initiated from trusted address inside the company's network. Once the access is gained with this valid IP address, attacker can change configurations, destroy data, reroute packets, and so on. Password cracking is the practice of guessing password, revealing them from stored locations or recovering them through vulnerable recovery systems. Now attackers use this method to gain unauthorized access oftentimes with elevated privileges. Penetration tester apply these techniques to user accounts so that they can identify where the password exists or where there are other password based vulnerabilities and their goal is simply to fix the problems. However, attackers on the other hand have a much different goal in mind. They want to access your data. They want to gain your password. And that is one way of providing themselves with elevated privileges and accessing that data. Now, some common tools that are using in access attacks include ncrack, aircrack in ng, which can crack wireless password, CWL, crunch, medusa, rainbow crack, and John the Ripper. In this example, we use the John the Ripper to a password that has been applied to a user account. As you can see here, we have taken the user's account information and unshadowed it into a specific directory. And then we are going to run John the Ripper against that password file, then unshadowed file, unshadowed file. And the result is that after running John the Ripper, the password, which in this case has been set to password for our user John has been cracked. It's really that easy. Now there are a number of security re recommend recommendations when it's come to preventing access attacks. 
First of all, we want to filter unwanted IP access using ACLs. Now we talk about a user spoofing the IP address of a trusted network range. Let's assume that our router sitting on the border has the 10 network on the inside. And then the outside is pretty much anything else that could be out there on the internet. So what we want to do is add our perimeter. We want to apply an ACL inbound that is going to deny any packet with the source IP that is from the 10 network. So if we see that, that is a deny. And the reason for that is because those packets should never come from the outside in. If so, we know that this packet is being spoofed and so we can block it. That will help us prevent some of these attacks. We also want to use multi-factor authentication when possible. One method of multi-factor authentication that is popular today is providing an SMS number that a text message can be sent to with a security code. Then you can provide that security code. This can also be used in VPN connect connectivities where you have a key for that generates a one-time password that can be used in multi-factor authentication scenario as well. We want to use WPA2 for our wireless network. Avoid using WEP. Whenever we, we have the ability to use IDS and IPS to help us detect access attacks that are in progress, oftentimes we need to remember that these are going to be based on known network attack signatures. However, having these devices in place is going to help us see things that we normally might miss. We also want to use real-time password generators that are going to generate strong password for us. There are also a number of them that are commercially available. And whenever we have the ability, enforce triple A, and that again stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. And we can implement AAA system for identify for identity management right alongside or using the key component Cisco ISC or identify services engine. And using Cisco ISE, we cannot provide the authentication, authorization, and accounting features, but we can make sure that our users are postured, that they are running up to date antivirus anti-malware and anti-spyware software and being able to confirm that that will gain help us to prevent these access type attacks that our networks are vulnerable to. So please subscribe our channel for more interesting tutorials and video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.